let's look at the new constant interpolation in .NET 6. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology. But sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created the 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. I already have a .NET 6 version of a console app open. Let's get rid of all the boilerplate code and just start looking at some constants. So const string company name, okay? And we're gonna say the company name is Acme. That's a standard constant. However, if I wanted to do something like, uh, like this, const string, where I said product name, and I wanted to put in the product name something else. Now let's, let's start with um, what doesn't work in .NET or in, in C Sharp uh, version nine, okay? So in version nine of C Sharp, you cannot do interpolation, which is the dollar sign. However, you can in .NET or C Sharp 10. So what that means is I can say company name, Anvils. So now the product name is going to be Acme Anvils. And if we ever change the company name from Acme to ABC, now they're ABC Anvils, okay? And we can do one more just for fun, um, const string product description. And again, we'll do interpolation and say, well, it's the product name, the full name. And then we'll say, are the best way to crush unsuspecting roadrunners. Okay, uh, we can unpin this to see the whole thing. So now we have constants with interpolation. I mean, we, can, we can reuse this over and over again in other constants. Now a constant is great because it never changes. It actually is more efficient memory-wise and is just a, if you're not gonna change it ever, a constant's a great way to go. We used to have to make things like this a read-only string. So you'd make it a read-only, which is not the same thing as a constant um, because the fact that um, it does take up more memory and, and have more issues. So this way we can create these constants with this interpolation. And they may say, you know, Tim, I'm not thinking I'm ever gonna use this. I think there's a place you might. So first of all, let's just see that this works. Okay, so product description, which will be the company name, then the product name, and then this all combined. Okay, so if we run this, we should see that yes, it does say that Acme Anvil is the best way to crush an unsuspecting roadrunner. So now let's talk about where else you might use this. Well, one of the ways that we, we use constants is in the um, attributes. So for example, if I had a, a method here, say hi. Now this is a local method. It's not actually a, um, a method available anywhere else because we're inside of main, remember. Since we're on the program.cs, we're inside of main. Therefore, this is a, a local method inside of main, main only, but it works for our purposes. Now, if we wanna decorate this with obsolete and put a message here, and this message may be, um, this is no longer used for, and we wanted to put some type of interpolation here. So if I had, let's just do a string instead, um, company name, our company, um, my company equals Tim's company, okay? I can't put that in here with interpolation, all right? So I can't do this because the fact that this string right here needs to be a constant because we can't have this attribute changing based upon the changing nature of this string. That won't work. But what we can do instead is we can say, well, product name. So this is no longer used for Acme Anvils. All right, so now this does work. 
and it will pull this in properly. So string interpolation, maybe you won't be doing a ton of this if you don't do a lot of constants, but this is valuable. But when it comes to attributes, you can now use constants in the interpolation, which allows you to break apart these different pieces and insert them as needed. So string interpolation is, it's a new feature in, in C sharp 10. Hopefully you, you find it useful for something, but either way, that's how you use it. Now, I'm interested to know, are you planning on using that? So leave a comment down in the description. Let me know, is this something you're looking forward to? Never gonna use it, um, confused by it still in some way. Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you want the source code for today's video, use the link in the description. Thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.